uh, Simon Gray's an infrastructure and, and a robot. Yeah. Uh, prior to before the robots came in, had you much infrastructure? No, we had most of the roadways done up along this side of the farm and we had a main farm roadway down the middle. So we just had to put in a few small extra roadways just to manage with the robots, you know. Was that trial and error in terms of what you yeah, needed? Yeah, a lot of trial and error, just try and put out fence posts and see how it goes. So you have an ABC system? Yeah, ABC system, yeah. What's the reality of that for people that mightn't be familiar with it? Uh, it's your smaller paddocks in three different areas of the farm. So you're trying to keep the cows moving all day to get them to get them to the robots during the day yeah. and at night. And when, are the, when is the biggest allocation of grass that you might have? We kind of we try and keep the biggest allocation of grass at night, just because of weather changes at night. You wouldn't see it. Cows would do a lot of damage and could break out if you didn't give them enough grass. You know. Yeah. How important is allocation? Getting the allocation right. Aside from it is the most important bit because. It's not, it takes the 14 days or 16 days for it to grow back in the spring if you run tight, like. Okay. And who does that? Have you someone consistently doing the allocation? or? or no, we just do it by eye and yeah. kind of, we've made enough mistakes over the years to kind of... Yeah, and you're allocating for every eight hour period as such? Yeah, I try and do, go out of a Sunday there and kind of allocate the week's grass in front of them. Yeah. So that it kind of leaves you free for the week. You can just open the gaps up along. Yeah. and make small changes if you have to. Right. So you have some large roadways and you've also, is where the cows are yeah, walking up there, it's not a big road. small roadways as well, just for management. And say that roadway going up there now, is that more than adequate for? Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. You don't want them too wide because cows will only stop and stand. Yes. You just want enough that if two cows came together, they could pass. And you find they're more likely to keep going if it's narrow? Yeah. Okay, why is it just less just time to saunter about? Less time to saunter about. We do have wide points for all the water traffic, so yeah. if they do want to stand. Yeah. But we find now, being a couple of years into robots, if two cows go out of pass, they'll just stay going, they won't stop and wait for another to, or follow the other back up again, do you know? Okay. So have you plenty gaps then on the... On we have, the yeah, there's a gap at every post the whole way up along. Okay. So... Gives you a lot of flexibility. It does, yeah. If you're going into heavy covers, you can make smaller paddocks or... Yeah, so like we're coming up to the end of November here and we've had a lot of rain last night. You've obviously got dry ground. It's not everywhere you'd let cows out today no. after all rain we got yesterday. It's all right, but we're putting them into big enough areas as yes. well. Yes. Just uh Yeah, so they've gone out there now. When will they come back again, typically then for... They will be in around 8 o'clock tonight again. Okay. And is that it then for the day, or will they be... Away? No, they'll be going into the shed for the night then. That's it, they will, yeah. yeah. Okay, and they'll be left off again what time in the they morning? They go out at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, right. So they have a, a nice day at it. Yeah, so maybe on water then, what's different on a water trough layer compared to a conventional farm? You kind of want them to have water on their way in and their way out of the paddocks, so that they're kind of having to come this far to get water. You'd be hoping they'd continue on to the next paddock or they can get water at the next water trough as well. Right. So there's water troughs every 400 metres, three, 400 metres, so. And not within the paddock itself per No, se. not within the paddock because you want them to move out of the paddock to move on to the next one. Okay. Yeah. Because that is different compared to what conventional thing. It is, yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. But on a conventional thing, you can lock the cows in, they'll graze it all out. Yeah. If you get it wrong with the cows and robots, like, they lay up what they want and they'll walk out of it then. Yes. And if they don't like the grass that's there, they'll walk out. Yes. Do you know, so it's kind of, you have to be 99% right on your grazing to make it work. Yeah. So would you have got the water troughs locations right at the start or did it evolve? No, we kind of just winged it yeah. and threw them where we could access them and we just moved them as as we went, just to try and make it better as we went. I see. So we're coming to the end of November, as I was saying, how long more will the cows be out? Probably be out for, I have another week's grass ahead of them and yeah. we'll finish it there then, try and build a few covers for the spring. And back out typically when in the spring? Last year we got out the second week of January. I'd say this year we mightn't. 
they went out early in January last year, but they had to come in for February, so it was nice to get a, a bit of heavy covers cleaned off then. Okay, so if you have the grass, you'll go Atlanta, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we will, yeah. The whole back. Yeah. Yeah. But with the ABC system, you can move them around if you want to go move them up here for a couple of weeks. You can, you know, it's flexible. Yes. But when you say AB, then say, must you bring your cows to another direction, say if cows come back here, the next block must be slightly off in the other direction, does it? Or, yeah, yeah, just with the roadways. Yeah. You don't want them passing. No. Yeah, yeah. they need to be independent of each they other. They do, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fine.